Hello dear algorithms traders, in mid-February 2023, the Bionic Candle was published on the fastest stock exchange platform ADAS, and I made it available free of charge. So far there has been an incredible amount of positive feedback and I would like to thank you very much for that. The most well-known candle is the candle chart, which was developed in the circa 1850s by a legendary Sakata rice trader known as Homa. Most likely, his innovative ideas were consistently modified and then refined over years of trading, eventually leading to the candle chart system. Renko charts were first used by Japanese traders in the 19th century. The Japanese called them renga or brick because of their rectangular shape. Renko charts are designed to show the general price direction of an underlying asset. False signals can therefore often occur if the color of the bricks changes too early. This leads to an undesirable, escalating quantity fluctuation. The Heiken Ashi charts were also originally developed in Japan. Heiken Ashi can be translated as average bar in German. In the West, Heiken Ashi charts became popular through the work of Swedish trader Dan Valku. These are modified candles that are calculated from the price values of the previous candle. The Bionic Candle is the latest candle and was developed by me in Germany from 2014 and made available to the first Forex traders at Forex Factory free of charge in 2018. So far it has been downloaded almost 30,000 times and is only at the beginning of a great career. I am very proud that this new candle representation comes from Europe this time. The Bionic Candle is a very modern candle that has adapted to changing markets and is very flexible. It shows the prices exactly, just like the candlestick, but without the wicks. This results in only two movements that you as a trader can capture faster. The histogram can be used to filter out certain movement sequences that give the trader important information. Of course, the bionic candle first must prove itself over the next few decades, after all, the candle chart is 170 years ahead. A big advantage of the bionic candle is that it also shows the candle strength and is even seven times more accurate than a candle chart. This allows the strongest zones to be quickly identified, which often also represent future resistance. Likewise, for the first time in stock exchange market history, the bionic candle distinguishes between a bearish, bullish and equilibrium doji. The dojis can be quickly identified in the chart, which often results in faster price movements. With the help of different histogram representations, different movement sequences within the bionic candle can be filtered out and give us additional important information. The settings of the bionic candle are very flexible, so that almost unlimited displays can be created, which help us in daily trading. By identifying the key candlestick, one can draw clear zones on the chart that show a trader future reversal points. However, we need reference zones from the past for this. In the futures market, the price data in the minute chart goes back only three months and in the M5 only one year. Theoretically, this is possible indefinitely in the foreign exchange market. While the Eurist has been moving within reference zones since 2008, new highs are regularly formed in the DAX or SNP. These new highs have no reference zones. The SNP has significantly more bullish than bearish moves, while the Eurost dollar is almost balanced. We all know that moves down are up to 40% faster than moves up. With a short you are faster and at the same time less risky in profit. Unfortunately, these advantages cannot be used as well in the SNP or DAX as in Eurist, for example. Another advantage, the bionic candle has the same reference points as a candle chart, only that the open has been omitted. Likewise, you can quickly see from the yellow or blue candle that the current price is currently at the high or low. The bionic candle draws the prices much more clearly, and as a result, many zones can be seen more clearly. You can find more information in this video. On March 29 to 30, 2021, we see a zone in the Euro US dollar M5 where the price keeps being rebuffed to the upside. Then this key candle breaks through our resistance. We now mark this key candle with a zone, and on March 31, the price even reacts to it twice. With 8.5 pip, however, this zone is much too large for me. So, let's go back to the key candle and shift into the M1. Unfortunately, this does not make the zone smaller as there was a small breakout to the downside in the M1. 
Still, the zone in the Forex market can be narrowed down to 7.8 pips. In the futures market, you quickly reach your limits here since you can often only go back 3 months in the M1. To further narrow the zone from 7.8 pip, I work with a special tick chart running on a VPS Linux server. You can get more information about this in my video, Tick Chart for Professionals. If you now dissolve the strong M1 candle in the tick chart to identify the strongest movement, you will find it right here. With that I was able to shrink the zone from 7.8 pip to 1.7 pip which at the same time improves the RRR. We also see that this zone worked exactly on March 31st around 6 o'clock pm, which were also my last two trades that day, which we will now look at in more detail. First, let us look at these pullbacks to the upside and use them to identify the key candle. We draw the zones and see how the price reacted to them. Now, we see four strong pullbacks going down, plot the zones of each key candle and see how price reacted to them afterwards. From the upper resistance zone, the price went down more sharply. There were no clear pullbacks to plot here. For this reason, I always look for the strongest candles in such a case. And these candles are right here. We recognize them by the small green pullback. We identify the key candles and see how the price reacts to them afterwards. On my penultimate trade of the day, the entry was right here. The stop was supposed to be below the red zone, but I didn't quite succeed. It got tight here. With the yellow arrow, I am out of the trade. Since the upper zone was known to me, I wanted to take the first strong downward movement with me. Here was the entry, here was my stop and the TP was planned with a limit order right here. Unfortunately, I was not picked up there. And then got out here manually. So now let's take a closer look at the trade. Down here was my resistance zone, I tried to get in as deep as possible. But you see, due to the higher spread, I didn't quite succeed. Now I've thought about it, you can see that from the mouse pointer as I go to my stop to pull it down a bit. I then decided against it, if I had been stopped out now, I would have immediately gone back into the market. I was really lucky with that, so except for a tick, the price came to my stop. You can also see that the brokers are fair and honest. Normally, at 6 lots, the broker could have easily ripped me off here if he had been dishonest. He wasn't. So, and now I'll of course wait a bit to see how the price develops. I increased my take profit a bit up to the zone 39 pip up to the price of 1.17554. I was lucky then, there was a positive slippage for me. At first there was a small retracement, I expected a pullback to the 32 pip zone, but the price went up again at 33 pips. Of course, the information you see here on my main chart, including my tones, also helps me to make decisions quickly. This is particularly important if something happens that you don't necessarily expect in such a high volatility phase. Luckily, that was not the case this time, but the trade developed exactly as I thought it would. The price then moved up a bit, my resistance zone was at the 43 pip zone, so I still had some time. Nevertheless, I wanted to take the first stronger move down, but that could only occur when the price had reached the maximum range in my resistance zone. I use other screens, so I kept an eye on these resistance zones via the forex market. Now the time has come, I went into the market and thought the price would go up again. My stop was too small for me in this volatility phase, so I pulled the stop up again. So, a total of 2.8 pips and then waited for the strong move down now to occur. My take profit was $255 and as you can see, I bumped that up a bit but still didn't get picked up. That is why I'm out manually. Overall, the execution of the trade was not optimal, but the planning for it was. Let us come to the evaluation of my two trades. You can see the dates of when I got on and off above. On my first trade I had a spread of 0.8 and a stop of 1.2 pip. The risk was $120, and the reward was $702. I was in the market for a total of 2 minutes and 7 seconds and gained 11.7 .7 pips. The pip per minute was 5.5 and the net RRR was 5.85. Earnings per minute were $331. The second trade also had a spread of 0.8, I trailed the stop, and the risk was $216. The actual profit was $138 although $250 was planned. 
I was in the market for 41 seconds and only made 2.3 pips. The pip value per minute was 3.2 and the net RRR was 0.64. Earnings per minute were $201. Overall, I had risked $336 and won $840. Achieved 14 pips in just under 3 minutes, that's 5 pips per minute and the total net RRR was 2.5. The average profit per minute was $300. The first trade went well except for the spread, hence the grade 1.5. The second trade was a small catastrophe with too high a risk in relation to the profit, hence the grade 3.4. We already know that the strong indicator of the bionic candle is a big advantage. We are seeing a strong move down here, suddenly creating three strong bullish pullbacks up and finally a bullish doji. Where will the course possibly go now? Now let's take a closer look. As we correctly guessed, the price is running up to get the short traders out. Suddenly a bearish pullback forms in the bullish upward movement, a possible sign for further downward movement and exactly what we had suspected, we can then see very nicely. Watch out for the strong bearish candlestick going down this H4 with a strong green pullback. This is a bullish candle to me. The H1 makes it clear why. Here we see this strong pullback from the H4. In the M15 we also see a strong bullish pullback here. We zoom into the M5 and continue to see strong bullish pullbacks. At the same time, however, it is also an equilibrium. Now, if we draw the key candle, we can see how the price reacts to it. Now we zoom into the M1. There is a key zone here and we see how the price reacts to it. This key candle sustains a break above this zone resulting in this key zone and we see how the price reacts to it. There is also a key zone here and although the price is running out of this zone, it is not being breached sustainably. Only this key candle sustainably breaks through the zone upwards and that is exactly why this is our new key candle. Of course, the price also reacts accordingly to the new zone. Not only through the zones, but especially in the currently running chart, we get a lot of information from the bionic candle. This enables us to anticipate what might happen next. In trading, we always work with probabilities, which means that before I enter a trade, I should know exactly where the market is going. This is almost impossible with standard candles and without stock exchange software. Maybe I could show you how to specifically work out your key zones with the help of the bionic candle. It is even possible to plan your trades in advance and, if everything goes well, to execute them with a small risk. I wish you continued success. Greetings Michael.